let's keep on going here. We're talking about expressions with rational exponents and simplifying them. Now, normally, it's not too bad of a, of a task, as long as you have the bases the same. But I have different bases here. I've got a 9, I've got a 3, and a 27. Now, you normally wouldn't be able to put those together unless they are all uh, divisible by the same number. They're all factors of 3. So I'm going to convert them all down to base 3. So starting with the 9, on the top, I'm going to say it equals 9 is 3 squared. Now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to still have to have the 13 over 6 in there. And my next step will be putting those together. My 3 cubed already is in base 3, so I don't have to do anything with it. But my 27, that one happens to be 3 to the power of 3. And I have to leave the 1 quarter power in there. Now my next step is going to be combining those powers. Using bedness, you take power of a power first. So, simplifying this a little bit, I treat this as 2 over 1. Let's do the top first. I look, I can do some simplifying in there. I can take a 2 out of here one time and out of here three times. So my top should end up looking like 3 power of 1 times 13 is 13, 1 times 3 is 3, 3 to the power of 13 over 3. Still haven't done anything with this 3 cubed yet, but I can do something with that the next part. Once again, treat this 3 as over 1. I can't multiply that, or I can't simplify it anymore, so I do 3 times base 3, and then it's going to be to the power of 3 quarters. Remember, top times top, bottom times bottom. My next step is going to be, I'm going to add, put those two together. Now, when you're multiplying two terms with the same base, all you do is you add the exponents. I've already figured it out. And I know, first of all, let's leave our top here, 13 over 3. I already know that my bottom is going to be 3 plus 3 quarters ends up being 3 to the 15 over 4. Doesn't really look like a 15, but it is. My next step is going to be when you have, so do that part. When you have same base, you subtract your exponents. So what this ends up being, my end answer is, well, it's not my end answer yet, 3 to the 13 over 3 minus 15 over 4. Well, I shouldn't be using the magic pen. Let's try that again. 3, same base, 13 over 3 minus 15 over 4. So when I subtract those two fractions, I end up with 3 to the 7 over 12. That fraction is probably just better off doing on scrap paper. That's my end answer. I can't simplify that fraction anymore. That's about as far as I'm going to get to go.